Okay, now we want to open up Envy uh, to use with these files. And so if you go in your search bar down there and you type in Envy, uh, you should see Envy 6.0, which is the version that we want. Uh, there may be some older versions as well, but really just choose the Envy 6.0. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, bring up this new program. And once it's fully open, uh, I'll expand it a little bit so we can uh, see what we got. And uh, this interface, um, uh, if you're familiar with ArcGIS Pro or some other software programs, uh, should look relatively uh, familiar. You've got a layer manager over here on the left, you've got a toolbox on the right, and then you've got a number of different um, just basic functions across the, the top, including a help function, which is very useful when you're learning new, new things. Um, and so, well, this is not that interesting, just looking at this blank screen, so we actually want to populate it with some actual files. There's different ways of doing that. You can just drag and drop files of interest into here, but we also can uh, go through this guy file and, and open. Um, and so we are going to do that. We're going to navigate to, um, where am I? I want to be on the D drive, uh, Geog 470. So this is where I've downloaded and unzipped um, uh, my lab files. And you'll see um, I've extracted the, the Landsat guys, and so those are located here. And so the, and the ones you want are the TIFF files. If you hit that button, uh, type, it'll organize them a little bit easier to sort of get all together. And we're going to select these guys, and I want to open all of them. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And sequentially, it's going to uh, look through and open these different, different ones. Now you'll see that the order in which these guys are opened um, it depends on, uh, and you can move the order on. So right now, the only one that's being shown is, is band one. If I click on band two, now band two is superimposed on top of that. I can also, you know, move these guys around so that band one is now on top of band two, right? So you could, you could reorder these things as you, as you like. But each time here, we're looking at different data from a different band. Again, this, this top one is band seven. Uh, if I turn that guy off, now we're looking at band one. If I turn that guy off, we're looking at band two. Take some time to play around with the software, with these icons, figure out what these different things do. There's panning, there's zooming, uh, there's any number of uh, uh, different things that are occurring here. Um, you can change some contrast, you can do all kinds of different things, and, and this is a good opportunity before jumping into the lab to get a handle on what can be done with some of these these different different tools. Um, all right, great. There we go.